Hey there, I'm back. Um, so I'm going to uh, set up the first person and third person weapons. Hopefully I can get them all done in one video. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the uh, hero. Um, before we get started, I'm going to update his inventory. So if you click on the pistol and click on the item identifier, it's going to show you where there's four of them. So on the hero, I go under this um, at VP inventory. So I'm going to drag all the items in here: the mace, the machine gun, pistol, and revolver. So that um, whenever we hit play, they have the weapons. Uh, normally, I put everything in this item caps um, in a in area. And also, I'm going to turn off this reset on respawn. Uh, basically, I think you I think that you only need this um, on or off when you have it where the player doesn't start with any weapons, but as they're playing, they pick up weapons. So anything in here is what they're allowed to pick up. So I've got these set up in here so that when we hit play, it'll have each of the weapons. So same as before, I'm going to use this Soldier Mixamo where I've gone and I've edited the head to have head material and the arms to have arm material, and then I left the body as is. All right, on the so I dragged in my soldier um, that I pulled from Blender where it has the multiple uh, materials. Um, so on the hero, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to grab all these weapons because it's just easier that way. So if you if you look under, so you get the hero, you look just go under the pistol, expand this rendering. So you got the first person and the third person. So I'm going to just click on this one to see where it is. See it's on the right arm. So I'm going to duplicate this weapons. So it grabs all those weapons and I'm going to drag it um, onto the hand of my soldier. So the soldier is right there. Okay, so I hid the, the hero player character and on the soldier, this weapons, I'm just going to kind of adjust it a little bit to get it so that it is somewhat in the hand and then I am going to adjust each weapon individually. Um, so that's kind of close. So then what I do is I usually turn off all the weapons and the inspector so you just you can't see them and then I just do one at a time. So these are pretty close. So I just kind of move it around um, and then I do the next one. So I'm going to go through and set up each of them individually. Um, you see they're kind of close. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and then I'm going to kind of set them up how I how, just a quick setup. Okay so I've got them kind of set up. Uh, pretty much you're going to want to spend some time on uh, setting these up where they look nice. Each of them look ni looks good. Um, so I'm going to, um, and this is a odd step, but I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And I'm just going to temporarily name this um, Soldier, actually Mace Soldier, and then I'm going to drag it into my weapons prefabs because I'm going to use this in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Um, so then for the soldier, I haven't done the ragdoll yet, so you're going to want to go through the ragdoll setup. So like before, game object, 3D, ragdoll, then you're going to set up all the, all the um, pieces, test it out, make sure it looks okay, it looks the way you want it to look. Okay, so I've got my uh, ragdoll set up. So I'm going to make the uh, soldier the child of the hero player. 
I'm going to hide the hero. And basically I'm going to add all these components just like we did with the other one where you add the animator, you add all this, so you just compare your hero with the soldier and set all these up, same as the prior video. Okay, my um, uh, soldier setup, you know, no root motion, all that kind of stuff. So if we go over here under our rendering, so we need to update all these third person ones. Um, so they're going to be all the way down here on the spine, the right arm, and the hand. Um, so you've got pistol one, so you want to update it because currently they're tied to the hero. So revolver, update that. Machine gun, update that. And then mace, update that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rename this um, Soldier Player, and I'm going to drag it into my Players Prefabs folder because I do not want to overwrite the hero. I want to keep the default as is. So then, if we want to uh, look at this real quick, we hit play. All of our first person weapons are going to look. Um, as regular. See it's got the arm, you can see it on two, you can see it on the right of the screen over here. We haven't updated that yet. Uh, but if we go hit V for Victor, we see he's got the um, mace in his hand. It could look better. Um, machine gun, you see it's a little off so it could be better. Got the revolver, then you got the pistol. And they work. Um, you can see it kind of flips sideways. It goes a little crazy, so we need to fix that. Uh, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to look at your pistol. Uh, go into rendering to find your third person pistol. It's going to find it right here. Um, you're going to scroll down to this keep aiming. So this is under the VP third person weapon aim script. So if you click on this keep aiming, and then what you're going to do is you right click in the view, so it's aiming. I'm going to go ahead and escape out of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset these to zero. So zero, zero. Um, and right now you see it's tied to the right hand right here. I'm going to leave that. Uh, you could change it to a different bone, uh, whatever works. Just kind of play around with it. Um, so I'm just going to kind of move this around. So I'm looking down here, and then I'm adjusting these so that it kind of sort of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these settings, and I'm going to do that same. Basically, you're going to do copy component, pause paste component as values, um, turn that back off, and you're going to do that for every weapon. Uh, so you go in and adjust them all. Uh, you don't need to worry about the mace, but the revolver and the machine gun. So do the same thing for each of them. Play, keep aiming, and fix it. Okay, so for the first person weapons, um, remember how we uh, copied our mace soldier, called a mace soldier, threw him in our weapon prefab. So I dragged him out. So I'm going to use him for all the rest of my weapons. So I'm going to turn off this animator. And then the first thing I'm going to do, since the pivot's all the way down here, I've got my, I've got my mace soldier. This is going to be my first person weapon selected. I'm going to go ahead and create an empty child. I'm going to move it up to where it's roughly right around where the neck area is. So I'm just going to make it uh, 1.6. Um, so it's right there. And I'm going to take it out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this one. Uh, my soldier. 
I'm going to make put the soldier as a child. So I've got the mace, pivots all the way up here, and then I'm going to find these weapons on the So I'm basically going to hide all the weapons except for the mace. So we've got the mace showing, and then I am going to go to the um, to the uh, renderer, and I'm going to change these with the invisible shadow caster. So I went down to find it here. Um, so here I'm gonna make I'm gonna hide the head, head's gone, and I'm gonna hide the body. I want to see the arms only. So those are gone. So then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go in here and actually um, edit. Well, you're gonna just kind of rotate this stuff. So I like to kind of get in this view. So you're gonna rotate the arm. Kind of like that, however you want. Um, I'm going to do a, just kind of a rough edit real quick. Um, just to kind of make it look, you know, like he's holding it. There. So, really rough. And then I'm going to, um, this is going to be my weapons, my mace soldier weapon. So it's going to call it May Soldier 1, but here, let me just call it Final. Alright. So, I've got that set up. Applied it. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Okay, so I deleted it um, under the player. You're going to go down to Mace. This first person Mace right here, we're going to change it to be our main soldier final. And then when we hit play, uh, we hit Q. So we've got the, um, so obviously you're going to want to edit this. Um, so you're going to do this for each weapon. Um, you're going to want to change the rendering settings. Um, so, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna make I don't know maybe 30. No. So you just kind of what you do is you kind of fool around with it. So I've got field of view is 50, and then position springs. I'm gonna want to just edit this. You move it up or down the way you like. Uh, but over here, if you look, when I do show pivot see the pivots at his head um, so you can move the pivot around here so you're going to edit this the way you like and basically what I found if you click through these you can actually see the states down here so if I click the states so it just did uh, pull up swing down um, so what you can do, if there's one of them that doesn't look right, you can change it. Um, you can also change your position. You can move it closer to the body or, you know, forward, backward. Kind of move it around where you want it. And say, if that's where you want it, you're going to copy this. Pause the game and you're going to paste these uh, paste the values. Alright, since I ran out of time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, you know, fine-tune setting up each of the weapons in another video so that you can see how to do the pistol, the revolver, then the machine gun, uh, because you're probably going to have to change these zoom settings on the states because the zoom is a, it's a tough one to get right.